Hey guys, it's Jake with Lax Weekly, and today we're talking all about one of the easiest and most effective dodges in all of lacrosse, the face dodge. In this video, I'm going to show you several great examples of the face dodge and exactly how you can put it into your own lacrosse game. It's a dodge that can be pretty much used anywhere on the field and in any offensive situation that you come across. Whether you're a complete beginner or a college lacrosse player, it doesn't matter, this video will help you become a better dodger and score more goals. I'd highly recommend you take notes and re-watch the video a few times just to soak everything in. Before we get started, would you mind if I sent you an email each week with exclusive film breakdowns and drills to help you become a better lacrosse player? If that answer is yes, please go join the LAX Weekly email newsletter down in the description. More than 500 of you have recently subscribed, which is incredible. You can also follow me on Twitter or Instagram at LAXWeeklyHQ. My goal is to help all of you become great at this sport that I love so much. So now, let's get into the video. So I'm going to play the first face dodge clip for you, and then we'll break it down. Got to see some sort of design play here. Rafis, goal line extended, Cook, turns around the corner, dives in, it brings the flag, and he scars. How's that for a crease dive? And Griffin Cook gives SU a three goal lead. Here, he's only a freshman, but he plays with a high level of confidence. Got great lacrosse IQ and an awesome goal right there. Big time goal by Syracuse. He spreads out and sticks one. Okay, this was a great face dodge and an example of how unstoppable this move really is. The defender doesn't even play that bad of defense, but yet the offensive player still scores. Let's break this dodge down into three parts. Part one is the catch and pay close attention here. So to start, the Syracuse player Griffin Cook in the white catches the ball from his teammate. And I want you to notice the defender in red. He takes a really sloppy approach towards Cook. He's way over committed to one side and Cook immediately recognizes that. So he executes the face dodge where he brings his stick in front of his face. And notice that he does this dodge in space. There's still several feet between him and his defender. That's when you want to do the face dodge. You don't want to do this dodge when you're really in close with your defender because then they might be able to check the ball out of your stick. But if you do it in space, the defender won't be able to take the ball away. Now for part two, which is the most important part of every face dodge. So once Cook makes the initial move, notice how he doesn't immediately bring the stick back. He keeps it tucked on the other side of his body. This is very important because now his defender can't get to his stick and his back is now facing the defender. So right now, if the defender pushes Cook, he's only going to help him move forward, or he'll commit a penalty. So either way, it's a win-win. This is why this move is so unstoppable. If you do it right, the defender is powerless. So when you face dodge, you want to make your initial move in space, and by the time you actually make contact with your defender, your back should be turned to him. If your back is turned to him, like in this situation, all your defender can do is push you, and that means you're either going to score or it's going to be a penalty. And part three is the finish. This is definitely a difficult finish and not everyone can probably make this shot. But what I like here is that Cook extends his stick upfield to get as much angle as he could on the shot. If he would have dove straight into the crease, he wouldn't have as much angle and he probably wouldn't have scored. Okay, I just threw a lot at you, so let's recap. When you face dodge, make your initial move in space. Leave the stick across your body so that way you keep it protected and now your back is turned to your defender. Now you have your defender beat and he will either help you score or commit a penalty and you'll go man up. By this point, I hope you're realizing how awesome this move is. Let's look at another great example of a face dodge. Loaded. You took a mud bath. Canada, two straight goals. That's Ben McIntosh. Down on offense. Burn and then the wing dodge. You're gonna see a heavy diet of wing dodges. McIntosh has been a revelation for this. Okay, this was in the World Championship Finals when Team USA played Team Canada. So if these guys are using the face dodge, I think we can use it as well. So just like the first clip, the player Ben McIntosh is catching a ball from a teammate. And look, the defender takes a perfectly good approach here. He's not out of position at all. Now McIntosh does a face dodge in space where he's still several feet from his defender. And notice he leaves the stick across his body, which means his back is now facing the defender. And so when McIntosh makes contact with his defender, oh wait, all the defender can do is push him, which will propel him forward even more. So the defender went from great positioning to completely beat in about half a second. And all the offensive player had to do was bring the stick across his body. That was pretty easy. 
And then this finish. Not an easy finish at all, but definitely a shot that you could take. It's two or three yards from the goal, you're in close, it's gonna be tough for any goalie to stop. And all you had to do was run and bring the stick across your body. Seems like a pretty good deal to me. Let's go ahead and look at one more clip just to solidify everything we're talking about. Bowls ahead of the pack. Diving across the crease, the goal counts, it's 21-16. Graduate goal of finding a girlfriend. This is another great play, this time in transition. Let's break this one down. So the Penn State player in white catches the ball and he's a few steps ahead of his man. Only problem is, he's losing angle and he's losing it really fast. So he needs to find a way to cut back upfield. Well guess what, the face dodge is perfect for this situation. He tucks the stick across his body and takes a few hard cradles. So now the stick is completely protected and his back is now facing the defender. And look, the defender gives him a little push, which helps him create even more separation to score. The face dodge is my go-to dodge to use in transition or fast breaks because it's quick and it doesn't take really any sort of thinking or footwork. Just bring the stick across your body. If you want even more free film breakdowns and lacrosse tips, come on over and join the Lax Weekly email newsletter and follow me at LaxWeeklyHQ on Twitter and Instagram. You can also email me with any questions you have at contactlaxweekly at gmail.com. Comment down below who you want to see next, and I'll see you next time.